Hello everyone, um, I'd like to show you how to use materials inside of the engine project. Let's start from Blender. Um, I open a new Blender. Uh, let's go to Geometry Nodes, add the plane, go to Edit Mode, delete all vertices as we don't need uh, all inputs. Add, let's add geometry nodes. Press new. We don't. We are not using this input. Just switch it off. Uh, after that, let's add a monkey. Here is our monkey. Let's add an object. J uh, object in four. Let's pick our monkey. And uh, put it here. Great, uh, we have our monkey inside of Geometry Nodes. Let's save uh, Geometry Nodes. I will add a folder called Nodes. Let's get back to Unity. Uh, right click and create empty object. Um, I will remove our position. Okay, and let's add a B engine component. You can type BE and you can select a B engine component. Um, an orange orange sphere will appear. And let's just move it up a bit. And small. Let's move. That's just for selection. <laughs> A very useful thing. Alright, um, let's add our Blender file here. Uh, and just drag and drop it. And we need to update nodes so that we could get information from Blender. Press update nodes. If you select this folder and press Ctrl R, uh, you will see that um, a new JSON file has appeared. Uh, we need this for geometry inputs, so on. Just letting you know. Alright, um, now press Run Nodes. And here we are. Here is our monkey, but it has no materials. We need to add one. Uh, go to Output and uh, press plus. Here we can add our our material. Um, I will just add one. Monkey mat. Drag and drop here and run notes again. And here we are. We have a material. All right. Uh, what if we have more than one object? Let's add another one object and let's uh, add, say, a cylinder. Uh, let's pick our cylinder here and geometry, gel meshes. Yeah. Uh, let's transform instance. Transform instance. No. Hmm. First range. It should work. Ah, probably we need to press it as as an instance as instance. Alright, we have uh, basically two instances now, because I checked these guys on. Uh, let's save and go back, run nodes, <coughs> and we have our monkey and a cylinder. Uh, what if we want a cylinder to be uh, with a different material? Uh, let's press plus. Um, 
add another one material, but we can just copy and paste it. And drag and drop it here. If you run nodes, nothing will happen. We need to specify uh, which material mesh should use. Uh, to do that, uh, we need to add an, an attribute called B engine, B material, sorry. So let's store, let's add store name attribute node and write BE material. Uh, type should be integer and uh, domain should be base. Also, you can set a color to this node because this is a B engine node. This is not, this doesn't belong to John to nodes. That's real. All right, uh, we have integer set to zero and this node will have one. Let's save and go back eight nodes and we have not we don't see a difference because they have the same materials but <laughs> yeah now they have different materials all right uh, probably you would like to add smooth groups to meshes it's easy to do uh, laughing <laughs> Which we're going to do. Uh, let's uh, add uh, split edges for a cylinder and smooth. Set smooth, shade smooth. Uh, also, we need to set. Um, selection to split edges. To do this, we, all we need is just to select uh, edges, edge angle node and add a math node. Probably here. And we need another one math node to convert degrees to radians. For example, 60 degrees and instead of add, we need to select uh, less than or greater than according to the switches. Yeah, now it works fine. Let's save. Press Ctrl S, run nodes. And we have smooth groups. Smooth groups. Yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you very much.